The last name to be placed in nomination for Vice Presidency of the United States of America, Mr. Will Coley. My name's Karen Ann Harlos. You all have heard from me before when I was endorsing Daryl Perry. And I was asked just a few moments ago, actually, if I'd be willing to speak for Will Coley. And I said, sure. So this is not going to be nearly as prepared as last time. And I'm certainly not as uh, professionally dressed as before. But I think that this really reflects on us as libertarians that we can do things on the spot and be both formal and informal. And I don't think our party is about respectability politics, so I do not mind that I'm up here in jeans and a t-shirt. Now, first thing I would like to say is even though I had endorsed somebody else, we all need to get behind Governor Johnson. He is our nominee and we need to move this party forward. And I would like to say something about Governor Johnson that I've respected extraordinarily much, is in his campaign he has conducted it with class. And that is something that I greatly respect. Now, Gary spoke before, and unfortunately I might have to say some things that are a little bit critical, not necessarily of Governor Johnson, but of things that are of great concern to me. Gary spoke about representing us all and asked for us to choose his particular vice presidential nominee. But as you know, as libertarians, we select these separately and we don't necessarily have to take his choice. And he said he wanted to represent us all but I respectfully say that his choice does not represent us all, and it is going to exclude some of us. And what I ask of all of you, and I would say the person that would accomplish this most is Will Coley, but I ask of all of you, do not split us. Do not split us the way Trump and Hillary have split their parties. Make sure that if you're going to you know, select a vice presidential candidate, that that one per person will then represent the rest of us that maybe are not necessarily feeling represented. We do have a wide variety and diversity of views here. I make no bones about it that I come from the libertarian wing of the Libertarian Party, and I want to see us also represented here. And I think Governor Johnson will do some marvelous things for us, and he presents some more pragmatic side. But I ask that you balance out this ticket with someone that will represent the rest of us and not split the party activist base. Now, as far as some of my criticisms, and I do, I hope, mean this, not with incredible disrespect, but out of a love I have for this party. Um, Gary Johnson's nominee, or selected, what he would like to be our vice presidential nominee, just joined this party. And I haven't been with this party a great deal of time, but I can tell you when I first joined, I was asked to do things for the Libertarian Party of Colorado. And I declined. I said, I have not yet paid my dues. I do not yet know the culture of this party. And we're talking about someone who just read our platform. I had for myself a minimum of a year in this party of going out and doing outreach booths and volunteer efforts and put in my dues before I would ask for people to give me some kind of position. And I don't think we should be doing this for one of our highest office. And I hope I do. This is coming across with respect and just out of passion and love. Now, uh, Gary also spoke about we're trusting him to get the message out, and we do need to trust him. But there will be two people to do this. So let's balance this out with someone who will know some of the other aspects of our message that we can really trust both of them. And Gary also spoke about who will get media attention, and unfortunately he spoke about the problems where Judge Gray that one time did not get the media attention. Well, I think Will Coley can do this. He represents an, under, an underrepresented segment of our population. He could reach the Muslim community that has felt disenfranchised by the two major parties, and I think that this would be phenomenal for our party. 
Ms. Uh, John McAfee spoke about there being a, a, a lack of women and minorities. Well, I believe that Will Coley can also reach some underrepresented areas. So I. I asked you yesterday for Daryl to stick close to principles, and I recited to you our party's statement of principles, and I ask that you all bring that to mind, that you stick close to principles, and for, you know, to run with Governor Johnson, that you would pick somebody who really, really sticks close to principles and keep our party base, keep us from our, in, in our roots and where we know where, we're, where we came from. And I'm sorry this wasn't as politic as my other one, but I hope that I've spoke from my heart and that you will represent us all in your choices. We, we select our vice presidential nominees separately. I ask that you choose Will Coley or someone that has also dedicated the time to this party and didn't just read our platform two weeks ago. Thank you.